so we are in Silver City, Yukon Territory. This is going to be a driving tour. So this was a silver mining town that's now abandoned and all that stuff are some ruins. And that was one building. That apparently was another building. I would tell you all about Silver City. So as we're going to Alaska, Jody's telling me all about this town and the ruins and all this stuff. I was reading it to you. And then we didn't know where it was at. We went past it and then she was like um, super angry for like two hours because we missed it. Okay, and then, um, so she was super angry and everything. And then she kind of got over it because something else came along that was more important to be grouchy about. Right. And then, um, so these are like log cabins. So what year were these built? She can't remember. I can't remember. So she read all about <laughs> it. And she's telling me. I read all about it on the way here. I saw an animal in there. Oh. So there's like a, like a metal foundation to something. And then, um, and then it log. Is that a little cart? Yeah, some type of little cart. A little mining cart? Maybe. Wait a minute, this is on night view. We don't want it on night view. Alright. So, she's telling me all about and everything. So, now we're coming back. I put it in the map so we could find it. And then we get down here and I'm like, so what is Silver City? Yeah, what's Silver City? I never heard of it. <laughs> like, you sure there's a town down here? That place needs a new roof on it. So it's an old mining town, obviously, for a vein of silver somewhere around here. Yeah, so they must have discovered silver here, obviously. And then um, when the silver disappeared, the town disappeared. There is, at the very end of this road, there is uh, another. So, um, yeah, so she's telling me all about it and everything, and then she doesn't recall any of the conversation. <laughs> not one bit of it. And I'm like, it'd be nice. I tell you, you're reminding me that we drove past it and I got mad. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. So that's how important it was to her. So I, I compared her to a two-year-old that wants a candy bar. They, they don't get it. They throw a fit. They lay on the. I didn't throw fits. They lay on the floor. They angry. stomp their feet. They scream. And then three minutes later, after you leave the store, you know they they. I was angry for an else. hour. So, cause I'm, I don't know, it probably became time for lunch or something, so she felt better. Yeah, probably. So, Alright, well that was the tour of Silver City, Yukon Territory. Making a video. We're driving down a road and there's a bear over there. So the decision I'm trying to figure out, that bear starts running at me. I jump back and get my truck real fast. He's a hundred feet away. We're driving down the road, Joey's like, oh, there's a bear. And so we turn around and came back to look at him. Not too exciting. Looks like there's uh, fiber optics or something buried down there too. I better look behind me, make sure there's not one behind me. So, all right, that's what a bear looks like. I could have made a video of, of this entire trip. Can you see how blue the water is on your video? I don't know if you can my pictures. Can you see how blue the water is on this video? So we are by Muncho Lake. Muncho. We are between Watson Lake and Fort Nelson, Canada. British Columbia. We're in British Columbia now. Just nature at its best. So, we were going to go down the Castor Highway, but going that way, multiple things changed our mind. One is becoming out of season. We're not sure what the supplies are for gasoline. Two, it's a lot of First Nation communities, and they're very leery of the COVID virus. Third reason, there are major construction going on. There's wait times of over an hour at construction sites as they are working on the road and different things. 
the, the one guy said there's three major spots where they're doing construction and if you hit it wrong you get stuck for over an hour at each site that could be miserable so we decided after all those things combined we decided to just keep continuing on the Alaskan Highway which is remote in its own way but there's more service more well traveled than the Cassier Highway the one thing we want to do in the Cassier Highway is go over to Hyder Alaska and watch the salmon bears eat the salmon but apparently it's getting kind of late in the season for that it's the very tail end and so there's no guarantee we'd see any bears there anyhow so that's okay there's lots of things we skipped along the Alaskan Highway that we said if we come back this way again we have to do it so by coming back this way we can like hit some of those spots that we skipped on the way up we had to do over you don't know until you get here but uh, we would have went to Dawson City, Yukon, and Chicken, Alaska, which is called the Top of the World Highway. And that would have added like a day. Next time we'll do that. So we definitely have to come back again to hit all the things we couldn't do. And then come back when there's not a... During non-COVID season, when more things are open and accessible. I think Jody's packed up and ready to go. I think she's eating chips in there. So... Gotta hit the road. This is a video of no sheep. So I would rather make a video of sheep, but we haven't seen no sheep. And this is an area that's known for lots of longhorn mountain sheep. And um, so the signs are flashing. This, there's, you know, warning you to be careful and everything. I would make this video longer but there's no sheep to be had so i guess i'll just go ahead and end it we are about 200 kilometers from fort nelson we're west of fort nelson british columbia and uh but we haven't seen a lot of, we've seen a lot of caribou today we saw one or two on the way through here the first time and the one was wearing a collar i'm like well that's not really you know that one's already been captured ones we've seen today don't have collars they look kind of like they might be younger ones some of them were yeah they all look like they were younger i thought yeah we saw a bear this morning saw a bear yeah i got a video of him deer, yeah we saw porcupine. saw a dead porcupine and a deer so the the deer that's really i think we might have saw some like in montana but we haven't really seen any deer along this trip so all right that's all so we are not only on the Alaskan Highway, but we are on the old Alaskan Highway. So people that think the Alaskan Highway is in bad shape, remote, on and all that other good stuff, we are on the old an old part of the highway because there's a an original wooden bridge down here. But I'm thinking that this doesn't look like a old original wooden bridge. I'm gonna pause this till I get closer. Okay, I'm back. So I don't know. So this bridge is closed. Normally, I don't think it's typically closed. It's uh got wooden planks, and if you look, there's a plank or two missing, and then uh. I would walk out on there, but there's actually people working over there, and I don't want to be uh, yelled at and thrown in a cold Canadian prison for the rest of the winter. So, typically, you can drive through here as long as you're not over 14,000 kilograms. Whatever that is, I, I guess that's a metric ton 14,000. Uh, so I'd be like seven ton maybe. I don't know. My truck weighs probably seven thousand pounds. So I'm in good shape. Anyhow, there's planks missing, and uh, they got this closed. And it actually looks like it's been closed for quite some time. So I don't know if they plan on reopening it or what the deal is. If nothing else, they should. Um, if they're gonna close that off, they should make this a bigger parking area here. 
and at least make it so you can drive down and walk across it make it a pedestrian bridge to go across and check it out and take pictures and stuff this is about 30 kilometers from Dawson Creek up the road north so Dawson Creek is the end of the Alaskan Highway so we drove it driving back on the Alaskan Highway going we're going to head back to Jasper National Park and Banff National Parks and catch a couple things that we skipped the first time through because one the weather was pretty rainy and icky and two we wanted to make sure we had enough time to get to Alaska and do what we wanted to do there but then we had to also leave Alaska and time it correctly to get back here and get COVID tested before the weekend hit so it was all a lot of planning and adjusting and replanning and readjusting the whole time so we decided we need to come back again but next time probably when we're more retired and we could spend like at least a month meandering around because we've skipped a lot of things and have had to hustle between different points in order to um, squeeze everything in so we yesterday we did nothing but pretty much drive to try to make up some time today won't be quite as hectic driving but it's still a lot of driving and the problem is too you can't drive you know 75 80 you can, the speed limits up here are like 62 miles an hour but a lot of places the roads are bad so you can't go that fast we drove 35 for about 200 mile stretch because the road was so bad but we're alive we're making it this is jody with her fancy camera are you scratching yourself no, it's oh, okay all right, that's all.